I picked up this chunky, funky looking dresser and nightstand set up off of Facebook Marketplace for free, and I brought it home to give it a furniture flip. So I vacuumed it all up because it was pretty dusty on the inside. And then I gave the outside a really good scrubbing with just some dish soap and some hot water. And then wiped it all off with clean water. This just removes all of that soap residue so that my paint can stick to it. So this piece had a lot of factory dings in it to give it that rustic look so I filled all that in with wood filler as well as some damage on the bottom and once that dried I sanded it all off until smooth. And then I vacuumed up the sanding dust. Now it's time for primer. I'm just using a water-based primer. I used Bin 123 Primer and then I caulked all of the large gaps and seams. Did two coats of primer sanding in between each coat and now we're all ready to paint. So I'm using Bear Premium Cabinet Door and Trim Enamel Paint brand. This is one of my favorite paints. Um, and I wanted to do a fun color, so I chose this really pretty green. The color is called Rainforest. And I'm rolling it on with a 3 8 inch nap microfiber roller. And for the drawer fronts, it had these grooves in it and I wanted to keep them because it gives the dresser some dimension. I use my paintbrush to fill in the grooves first. And then I use my roller to spread the rest of the paint around. So after my first coat of paint, I go in with 400 grit sandpaper and knock down any brush strokes or bumps that may have been left behind. And this will give me a smooth surface for my second coat of paint. I didn't like the center drawer pull placement, so I'm going to fill that in. And I'm using some painter's tape on the underside so that when I putty up the holes, that's not falling through into the drawers. So to fill in the hardware holes, I just picked up some Bondo all-purpose putty from my local hardware store, mixed it up, and I'm filling in the holes. And I'm going to replicate the top drawer that has the double drawer pulls all the way through the bottom three drawers on this dresser so that it is a continuous look. And once the Bondo was all dry, I sanded it until smooth, and then I drilled in some new hardware holes. I didn't take a video of it. It was actually my first time doing it, and it was a lot of trial and error. Actually, it was more error, um, and you just don't want to see that. So once I got them exactly where I wanted them, then I did a third coat of paint just to cover everything up. And I'm going in with another sanding just to make everything nice and smooth. And I did a final coat and here it is. It is so smooth and so shiny. And that is just the effort of sanding in between each coat of paint. Now I'm going to put on the hardware and I went with these black cup pools. I just think that this Hardware just fits the aesthetic of this dresser so much better than the original. And here is the moment you have been waiting for, the end result. I absolutely love how they turned out. This green color is so pretty. The black cup pools go so well with the shape of the dresser. I think they're so beautiful. Let me know if you agree in the comments and please hit that subscribe button to see what I flip next. My puppy Thor wants to thank you for watching till the end and till next time.